Hi everyone, I'm Genesis from the teen department at the Yuma Main Library. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a floating howler decoration. Just like the one Ron Weasley received to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the first Harry Potter film. The materials you will need for this project are one clear decoration ball that opens, red and white paper, red ribbon, glue stick, scissors, ruler, pencil, and optional, a printer. First, measure a three and a half inch by two inch rectangle on the red paper with your ruler and pencil. Cut the rectangle out and set aside the remainder of the red paper. On the white paper, either find the mailing address on the internet and print it out, or measure a 7 8 inch by 1 and 1 fourth inch rectangle to write the mailing address on by hand. If you are printing it out, make sure the size of the mailing address is the same size as the previous rectangle. Then cut it out and glue it to the center of the red rectangle, making sure the red rectangle is vertical. Flip the red paper over and fold the rectangle vertically. Then unfold. Next, bring the top and bottom edges to meet at the center. Crease them in place and unfold. With this newly created square in the middle of the paper, Take the top right corner and fold it diagonally to the bottom left corner. Try to do your best to align this line with the edge of the paper. Then unfold. Repeat that with folding the top left corner to the bottom right corner. Where the two diagonal folds created a center point, fold the paper horizontally. Then unfold. Flip the paper over, then pinch the sides of the square towards each other until there is a visible pyramid-like shape. At this point, continue moving your fingers closer together to force the sides of the pyramid that your fingers are on to fold in half. Push the top and bottom sides of the pyramids towards each other and crease. Then release. From above, the pyramid will now more resemble an hourglass. Flip the paper back over. Fold the bottom edge up about one fourth of an inch. Crease, then unfold. Cut that small fold vertically in half. Take the cut bottom edges of the paper and bring them slightly towards each other to overlap them. Glue the overlapped pieces together so that there is a slight downward angled point. Then, curl the top right and left corners of the paper up and outwards. The easiest way I've found to do this is by slightly folding the corner back with your index finger and thumb underneath. Then, using a bit of pressure, roll the paper back by moving your index finger towards you. Set this aside for now. On the white paper, either find the letter contents on the internet and print it out, or measure a 3 and 3 4 inch by 1 and a half inch rectangle to write the letter contents by hand. Leave about a half inch of blank space above the written words. If you are printing it out, make sure the size of the letter contents rectangle is also the same as mentioned before. Lightly crease the paper into a W shape to force the paper to appear like a flowy scroll. You can do this by first lightly folding the paper in half horizontally with the text on the outside. 
Then, lightly fold the bottom and top of the paper towards the half crease. Fold the top edge down about a quarter inch. Then cut multiple vertical lines across that fold to create the howler's teeth. Repeat this process for the bottom edge. Take the red ribbon and cut a 2 inch strip. Cut a small triangle out from one end of the ribbon. Glue the ribbon underneath the center wave of the paper to act as the howler's tongue. Bring back the previously set aside folded red rectangle and apply glue to the outside of the bottom set of teeth. Place the bottom teeth onto the inside of the overlapped red paper. Try to keep at least some teeth still sticking out over the red paper, but if not, that's okay too. Next, apply glue behind the crease of the top set of teeth and press it into place, about a quarter inch below the top of the red paper's edge. Lastly, Place the howler into the clear decoration ball to create the floating illusion. And there you have it! The floating howler decoration is complete. Some example spots to place the howler as a decoration could be your room, a locker, or over the rear view mirror of a car. The choice is up to you! If you're interested in more books about or related to Harry Potter crafts, check out The Unofficial Guide to Crafting the World of Harry Potter, The Wizard's Craft Book, or Knitting Magic, the official Harry Potter knitting pattern book at the Yuma Main Library for free with your library card. For the latest updates on what's happening at the library, check out our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. For more crafts and team book recommendations, check out our team blog. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching!